What is a totally wrong thing that has become so widespread it's not considered wrong anymore? Tying your health insurance to your work, USA. If you become too sick to work, example, terminal cancer, you lose your job and your health care coverage. Dental not being included in health care. How is the health of your mouth and teeth separate from the health of the rest of your body and necessitate totally different, and pricey, insurance? Hearing aids are not covered by my health insurance. The testing to determine that you need them is covered but the actual devices are not. I guess all those people faking hearing loss to wear cool hearing aids have forced the insurance companies to fight back slash s. Harvesting as much data as possible. You have to go to some extreme lengths to prevent your personal information being sent to random strangers you have never met. For anyone with the aptitude, pie hole. You essentially set up a tiny PC and route all internet requests through it, then give it a block list. Nothing connected to your network can complete requests to domains on the block list. Phone, PC, smart TV slash washer slash fridge slash etc., nothing. I honestly can't remember the last time I saw an ad, and it can block anything trying to phone home in the background as well. I used Aduard for like a week I think, before setting up the pie hole. The pie hole definitely works better, but it's honestly two different audiences. AdGuard is much easier to set up and use, kind of just let it do its own thing. The pie hole takes a bit more effort and know-how but you have far more control over what it does. For instance, I have my pie hole set up to also be my DHCP server so because it assigns all the IP address on the network I can see, on a per-device basis, what is trying to contact where and when. Makes it very easy to make sure nothing is trying to go nuts with ad slash data tracking in the background. There's a ton of tutorials out there though so even if you aren't IT inclined you can definitely still set it up. Bought a Samsung TV and setting it up required making a Samsung account. They know, by the time you unbox it and place it, that you have really no recourse but to relent and provide your account info. F asterisking extortion. I created an account in my dog's name for every item I purchase that requires me to provide an email to activate. My dog receives invitations to retirement seminars and assorted other advertisements. Give your pets some fun hobbies and create some crazy data for their customer analytics projects. This is my last Samsung phone because of the things they keep trying to force on me with every update. I remember when I signed my first apartment lease, I actually sat in the office and read the entire 30-page document. The leasing agent looked stunned. I didn't realize at the time it wasn't normal for people to do this. It was my first time ever signing a contract I considered this important, so naturally I was going to read it. Granted, everyone should read their entire lease before signing it, or have a lawyer check it out if you have that luxury. It's more important than iTunes TNC. In middle school I was very overweight. My body is very weirdly built and I carry fat around my lower back and I have a small butt, I'm a guy mind you and so I had trouble pulling my pants up all the way. So one time I sat down at the cafeteria with my friends and this prick behind me takes a picture of my ass crack and shows the whole table who proceeds to laugh and point at me. I can still feel the embarrassment to this day. Edit, I never understood why people edit their comments to say thanks, I thought it seemed kind of protentious but now I see why. It's great to relate, but I'm sorry to anyone who experienced bullying. Thank you all so much for your great stories and kind words. Being proud of and bragging about a lack of sleep as if it's some sort of virtue. Or working yourself till you are burned out. Like if you are not giving it 100% all the time you are lazy. And when you finally crash and burn due to lack of sleep and exhaustion from working constantly, you are not hard enough. I used to be this way and two significant things happened to me. 1. I was laid off. 2. The very next position in which I did this, I broke down and said fuck it. It was a sales manager position. After going down from 12 HR days to 8 HR and forcing myself to take a full lunch, my bonus not only stayed the same, it eventually improved. So basically I learned don't try so hard all the time because companies DGAF and will disappear your position in a heartbeat regardless of how long and hard you work. And don't work over a 40 HR work week if you're salaried. That basically devalues your worth and whatever shit you didn't finish today will be there tomorrow. Perfect attendance being celebrated for kids. When my kid is sick, he stays home. 
He's healthy too. I can't imagine having a kid with a disorder that makes them prone to being sick more often and then not getting some shitty little award for not being in school every day. Kids get sick. It's not wise to send them to school anyway so they can spread their germs. Schools push attendance, because butts in seats is one of the factors that the government uses when deciding how much funding schools get. I struggle with this because I've mostly cut out Facebook. Only check Instagram once or twice a day. But Reddit is my big one. I hate staring at my phone for hours, but when I am on Reddit, I feel like I'm not mindlessly scrolling but rather reading interesting articles and conversations. So it's hard to get myself to stop because I feel like I am gaining something from it, but there are other things I'd much rather be doing.